Hi everybody, welcome to the California sunset here as we move along and try to finish up a day in the life of Burbank. So, Burbank Tower. I'm moving Alaska pretty quickly. One final one five. Alaska 1052, runway 15, cleared to land. So I've been running these schedules. Runway 15, clear to land. Alaska 1052. And trying to get through the real life schedule for a day. Um, again, it is 8 p.m. here in Southern Cal. And I'm assuming as the sun starts to set that things are going to be a little bit quiet around here. We've got a couple southwest planes. Looks like three parked here at the terminal. You can, can't even see the terminal. Let me turn the lights on. That's probably helpful. There we go. That's better. So, always a good thing to try to remember. But we've got a Southwest that is going to be taking off soon. Obviously hasn't called in yet. Whoops. Alright, that is a really big tag. Alaska 1052, taxi to the terminal. Let's get the tag taxi size to a little smaller. Alaska 1052. Southwest 2105. Runway 26, whoops. Southwest 2105, pushback approved. Expect runway 26. Negative. We tried to push back by hand, okay, yeah, but we, we know. failed. Please we send the know. pushback truck. Southwest 2105, ground. Runway 26, pushback approved. Southwest 2105, Burbank ground. Southwest 2105, ready to taxi. Southwest 2105, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. So these folks are headed to runway San Francisco. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact it's departure. It's got some crazy Southwest behavior with that, but um, in any event. Alright, sun getting below the horizon. Burbank ground, Southwest 2105 with information, Bravo. Requesting push and start. Right. Looks like we've got a plane coming in. Another plane getting ready to call out. Burbank Tower, JetBlue 359 on final 15. JetBlue 359 or runway 15, cleared to land. Alright, this one's from JFK. Runway 15, cleared to land. JetBlue 359 And then we've got another one, another southwest heading to Sacramento. So that's the Burbank one here. Ground. Southwest 1958 with information Bravo, requesting push and start. Southwest 1958, pushback approved. Expect runway 26. Ground, runway 26, pushback approved. Southwest 1958. All right. Burbank ground, Southwest 1958, ready to taxi. Southwest 1958, runway 26. We'll let it do its dance first. I'm sure it'll start Southwest to do something. Oh, now it's going to behave. Look at that. But I'm going to let the JetBlue leave. There's literally no reason to be rushing here. Um, and then getting penalties that I don't really need. So. But, um. Yeah, it's been interesting. I've been able to run the airport pretty quickly the whole time. So it's definitely been interesting in that regard. But, you know, it's it's helped, certainly, versus the other day in the life where the airports are very busy, where I'm doing Nashville and even the historical LAX, um, which is obviously in the same area. Southwest 1958, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Runway so 26, I'll let him go. Immediate to Kef upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Southwest 1958. All right. JetBlue 359 or taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Not sure where he's going to go. Taxi to terminal, cross oh, runway 26. Interesting. JetBlue All right. So they're going to put him over there. And right now, I don't think there's anything else happening. And so this is kind of what I'm figuring is going to 
be the issue, or not the issue, but is going to be the result, is that we're just going to have a few stragglers here, maybe till 10 p.m. So I think this is going to happen over here. I've got a November. The bank ground, November 485 Tango Papa with information, bravo, ready to there start. There is. November 485 Tango Papa approved, expect runway 8. All right, we got a southwest approved. from Oakland. November four eight five. Tango Just Papa. a lot of local Burbank flights Tower. here. Southwest three two four nine or on final one five. Southwest three two four nine or runway one five cleared to land. You know, because at this point a plane coming runway in at eight thirty cleared to land. Southwest three two four nine or. I think it would be Burbank pretty ground. rare. November four eight five. Tango Papa ready to taxi. See now it says that, but he's not showed up so they seem the to call ground. back early November 485 Tango Papa ready to taxi November 485 Tango Papa runway 8 runway 8 November 485 Tango Papa all right let's move things along a bit here just to try to have a shot we are already a half tower. hour Southwest in 2395 on final one five Southwest 2395, runway 15, cleared to land. Southwest 265, pushback approved, expect runway 26. Alright, so unless that jet blue turns Southwest around, this should be Ground. it. Runway 26, pushback approved. Southwest 265. November 485, Tango Papa. Runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Right. November so 485, Tango They're getting Papa. ready out there to get ready to go. Cargo planes took off just before we ended ground, at 8 o'clock yesterday. Information, Bravo, requesting push and start. Burbank ground, Southwest 265, ready to taxi. Southwest 265, runway 26. Runway 26, Southwest 265. All right. Southwest 3249er, taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. All right, and from Vegas, we've taxi got another terminal, Southwest cross coming in. Southwest 3249. Just make sure that November. The November hands off, it did, so you can see it's gone gray. Southwest 265, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, right. contact so departure. They're parking Southwest at a pretty close gate. I don't understand. 26523. Oh, okay. I guess they were closer than they should have been. Should be okay. Otherwise, could be a mess, but he's likely to turn off to the taxiway there. So there you go. Southwest 239 or 5, taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Southwest, Southwest 340, runway 15, cleared to land. All right, so runway one five got them before land. they called southwest in. Southwest three four zero, Burbank Tower. Southwest three four zero on final one five. All right, nobody set to depart. So again, unless the Southwest turn off for really late night flights, we should be getting into a quiet period, I would think. Southwest three four zero. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. And they're going. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. A little bit Southwest further along. Alright, but we are at basically 45 now after the hour already. Less than 15 minutes into our episode. So it does bode well. Again, if I have a large gap where nothing happens, I'll probably just. Uh, cut that out and just jump cut somewhere. Burbank Tower, Southwest 332 on final 15. Southwest 332, runway 15, cleared to land. 
So we had a little bit of a break, Runway about 15 five, minutes. Cleared to land. But Southwest we've got three, three, two. a few things going on. We're going to have uh, Southwest going to San Jose. We've got an Alaska Air is getting ready to their boarding at this point. So they've let us know they're heading back to Seattle. That's Urban where they ground. came from. Alaska 1045 with information Bravo requesting push and start. Alaska 1045 pushback approved. Expect runway 26. Ground runway 26 pushback approved. Alaska 1045. Burbank ground. Alaska 1045 ready to taxi. Alaska 1045 runway 26. Runway 26. Alaska 1045. In the southwest, the one that's coming in that's airborne is um, Burbank Ground. Southwest from Phoenix. With information Bravo. Request and push and start. Southwest 332, taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Southwest 332. So they're going to go in that first stand. Burbank Tower, Southwest 1983 on final 15. Southwest 1983, runway 15, cleared to land. Alaska 1045, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Southwest 513, pushback approved, expect runway 26. Runway 15, cleared to land. Southwest 1983. So my Run. tags are a little bigger than normal. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500 contact departure. Alaska 1045. All right, so Ground. there goes Run Alaska Air. Pushback approved. Southwest 513. All right. Burbank oh, Ground. There we go. Southwest 513 ready to taxi. Southwest 513, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Southwest 513. This is going to be a bit of a mess again because of what Burbank it did. Big Tower, Big Stripe 113 on final 15. Southwest 1983. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Big stripe 113, runway 15, cleared to land. Taxi All right. to terminal, cross nothing runway 26. Set. Southwest 1983. Nothing new set runway to call in. Clear to land. That's Big the stripe plane that landed. This one's going, let's see, a little bit further down, but not too bad. Nothing else, so that big stripe's coming from Vegas. So, kind of what you'd expect on some of the late night stuff. But there we go. I'm surprised he hasn't turned off his lights. Big stripe 113, taxi to terminal. I'm thinking he's going to cross. Taxi to terminal, big stripe 113. Big stripe 113, cross runway 26. All right. Little Cross bit later. So that Alaska is from, I think, Portland. Burbank Tower, Alaska yep. 1062 on final 15. It is. Alaska 1062, runway 15, cleared to land. So we're already an hour 15 runway in. Runway 15, cleared to land. Alaska 1062. So again, late night arrivals, not unexpected. Because you're going to have long flights Burbank and Tower, things. American 259 or 7 on final 15. So this is from Dallas, Fort Worth. American 259 or 7, runway 15, cleared to land. So runway 15, clear to land. American 259 or 7. And that looks like it might be a heavy the way it's coated on my strip, but it's not saying that, so maybe not. But, you know, again, not super long flights for either one of these, but, you know, and it, it is only, um, you know, 9.30 p.m. It's not like it's, oh, my God, it's so late. Alaska 1062, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Alaska 1062. 
So it's possible this one will turn around and leave, which would be weird, but all right, we've got a big stripe coming in. But we'll get everybody moving along here, because other than that, there's nothing. Burbank Tower, Big Stripe 179 on final 15. Big Stripe 179 or runway 15 cleared to land. Now that's a little bit more local. It's from runway Oakland. Runway 15 clear to land. And Big then the stripe, other one behind it is a United coming from Denver. American 259 or 7, taxi to terminal. So I assume Negative. he's going to go. American 259 or 7. American 259 or 7, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. American 259 or 7. So I'm assuming he's going to go to one of those gates. No, he's not. Interesting. All right. Burbank Tower, United 464 on final 15. United 464, runway 15, cleared to land. Runway 15, cleared to land. United 464. All right. Big Stripe 179, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Big Stripe 179 -er. Big Stripe 179 or cross runway 26. Cross runway 26. Big Stripe 179 -er. United 464, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. United 464. United 464, cross runway 26. Cross runway 26. United 464. All right, so they're going to all park along here. A lot of times the non-southwest flights go here. It's possible some of these may go before the end of the night. Looks like we've got another one from, I think, San Jose. Yep, coming in. Burbank Tower, Southwest 2548 on final 15. Southwest 2548, runway 15, cleared to land. Southwest 333, pushback approved, expect runway 26. So that one's headed to Phoenix. Runway 15, clear so to land. Not a terribly long flight this runway evening. Six, pushback approved. Southwest 333. But I am a little surprised that we are Burbank ground southwest 333 with information revo requesting push and start so Burbank let's ground see. southwest 333 ready to taxi southwest 333 runway 26 i don't think i runway want to six. push it southwest again southwest 333 there we go yeah he's got a ways to go to the runway Burbank tower southwest 2554 on final 15 Southwest 2554, runway 15, cleared to land. Yeah, that's a flight from Oakland. Runway 15, cleared <laughs> to land. Southwest 2554. Southwest 333, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Right. Southwest 333. There, there you go. Southwest 2548, taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Southwest 2548. All right. Southwest 2554, taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. So you pop it in the terminal, front. Cross he runway is. 26. Yeah, Southwest 2554. We're filling up some gates here, I'll tell you that. So there's certainly no uh, lack of anything, but here we go. 945 is coming upon us. So a busy 10 15 minutes there, that's for sure. Burbank ground. JetBlue 358 with information Bravo. Requesting push and start. JetBlue 358, pushback approved. Expect runway 26. Ground, runway 26. Pushback approved. JetBlue 358. All right, and we got a southwest. Burbank Tower, southwest 1734 on final 15. Southwest 1734, runway 15, cleared to land. 
So things will be moving Runway along pretty good. Clear to land. Southwest 1734. Burbank ground. JetBlue 358 ready to taxi. JetBlue 358, runway 26 cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500. Contact departure. All right, so he should be able runway to cleared for take immediate off. takeoff uh, upon reaching altitude 500. Hate contact when they do departure. this. JetBlue 358. Because it just causes Urban potential tower, problems. Southwest 4868 on final 15. Southwest 4868, runway 15, cleared to land. Alright, at least he's on. Runway 15, clear to no land. No problem southwest there. Southwest 4868. Here comes the southwest. Southwest 1734, taxi to terminal, cross runway 15. I mean, again, we're taxi pretty terminal, full cross here. Runway 15, southwest 1734. So, I mean, they've got some gates, but it's getting late. And it's getting, you know, stacked up probably for the morning. I think that would be typical. Whoops. Southwest 1734, cross runway 26. Not sure how cross runway 26. he got Southwest stuck there, but he did. Southwest 4868, taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Taxi to terminal, cross runway 26. Southwest 4868. Alright, well, hopefully they'll all have space. Once again, looks like we're getting into a little quiet period, but at this point, anything else shows up with nothing leaving, we're going to have to go down the side of the terminal. But this would seem to indicate that, um, you know, unless the schedule didn't make sense, uh, that we're coming close to the end of the night where things are you know, get, going to get quiet. I mean, we might have some GA aircraft. I don't think it would be unusual for someone to fly their private plane in late at night, you know, that they've come back home or something like that. But, you know, we'll see how things pop up. So I'll see when I'm back, if it's before the end of the night. All right, so we are here. Midnight has been reached. A couple seconds after, so nothing happened after those last flights. So, uh, you know, for an airport that's been pretty quiet throughout the day, I mean, overall, this is unusual for my Day in the Life series, as I've discovered. Uh, most airports, once I've gotten going, uh, an hour-long episode is an hour on the ground. I don't think I've had a situation here where I had to only do an hour in an, in an episode. I think I've, you know, always done at least a couple, and I think even those that I did in a couple hours, I think they were over 30 minutes, so I probably still could have done things faster. It just was early enough in the day that I just assumed things would get really, really busy. But... It's a small airport. I mean, you know, let's be honest, Burbank's not big. I mean, you really just have this one terminal, and, and that's really it. And then everything else is general aviation, so there isn't a lot of opportunity to be in, insanely busy. Like if we were running 100 planes through here in an hour, there, were, there aren't enough gates for them to, to do that. Like you sometimes have, you know, and I don't know that it's 100 in an hour, but you know, probably 50 uh, in an hour is is certainly not unheard of at some of the busier airports where you're just constantly going. But at this point, we have finished a day in the life of Burbank. So hope you've enjoyed it, uh, you know, and then this is kind of then where they're set for the morning to to take off the next day. Now, I don't have next day's schedule you know, but if I did, I would assume, you know, this JetBlue and this American and this United, and I guess the JetBlue left, so it's really the United and the American and some Alaska Airs and whatever, you know, that those would be going somewhere tomorrow, but no idea. But with that, uh, we've definitely wrapped this series up. See what else I can do. As I said in the, hinted at the last episode, I kind of already know what I'm going to jump into to replace this one. So I do have something else that's come across that I'm pretty interested in 
seeing where it takes us. So you'll see that, I'm sure, soon. But if you've enjoyed this and haven't dropped a like, please consider that. And if you are not a subscriber yet, please consider that. And I will see you next time.